My name is Sonia Jordan. I'm the Director of Informatics for Lawrence Douglas County Public Health. So during the COVID-19 uh, public health emergency, our department along with um, several nurses and other support staff are working to um, do outreach to our positive cases and to monitor any identified contacts to really try to prevent the continued spread of coronavirus here in Douglas County. So we are either notified by a local provider or by the state health department, KDHE, that we have a new positive coronavirus case in our, our county. And for us, that means that the person is symptomatic and has tested positive through a lab test. So once we've done that, we will assign the case to one of our disease investigators. That disease investigator will outreach to the client and will ask him or her um, about the symptoms they're experiencing, when they started getting sick, um, if they have any underlying health issues. We'll also look for cases of exposure. So where did the client get it? Um, have they traveled recently? Are they a contact of another positive case? And then one of the most important things that we can do to try to limit the sp spread of coronavirus is to identify that person's close contacts. So we're gonna really look for people who've been in close proximity within six feet for longer than 10 minutes um, since that person has become sick. So we're going to do everything we can to identify who those people are and then outreach to them and make sure that they know that they've been exposed to a positive case and make sure that they understand that they also need to be in quarantine and be staying home and be staying home for the next 14 days or 14 days from their last exposure. This is really one of the most important things that we can do to limit the spread of coronavirus right now in Douglas County is for people to um, outreach to those close contacts, keep in touch with them, and for those close contacts to stay at home to avoid passing it to someone else. So if you're worried that you have been uh, exposed to a positive coronavirus case uh, and you are high risk or even medium risk, there is a very strong chance that you will hear from us, from Lawrence Douglas County Public Health to uh, go over quarantine requirements and to answer any questions that you have. Um, if you think that you've just been exposed through the community, you can always call us with questions, but when we are doing our disease investigations, we are really trying to hone in on those high risk people, the people that we think are most likely to get the disease and we do outreach with every single one of those people that we're able to identify. So if you are one of those identified people, you will hear from us. When we call the patients who have been diagnosed with coronavirus, um, we are gathering a lot of information about the disease and about their exposure and who they have exposed, but we also use that time to make sure to answer any questions that they have. Um, a lot of times they are very concerned or they're worried about having spread it to someone else. Um, they're worried about their family or themselves and that can be really hard um, to, to navigate on your own. So, we try to be a system of support as much as possible for, for those people and for the contacts that they may have. Um, we try to make sure that we answer any questions that were available to them whenever they need. Um, this is a really challenging time for public health and I'm proud of the work that our health department is doing, but it still is very challenging. It's requiring a lot of hours and it's requiring a lot of effort and energy from dedicated staff. And luckily I think that our staff is up to the challenge. So by staying home, by limiting the number of people you interact with, you um, limit your chance of potentially coming into contact with the virus and if you do come into contact with the virus of spreading it to others. Uh, I know this is 
can be really challenging for people. It's challenging for my family right now. And I understand the struggle that working parents are going through, that grandparents who can't see grandkids are going through, that people um, who are alone at home are going through. It's, it's very challenging, but we're doing this to try to protect our community as much as possible. And as much as you can think of it as a civic duty or as doing your part to help the community, uh, the better, because we really are trying to um, save people's lives and protect our healthcare system.